Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Good morning everyone and happy Tuesday. I'm not sure about you, but I am ready for some sunshine and sun is on the way. Unfortunately not for today. We have to be patient as we are going to be seeing clouds increasing today, leading to a chance of rain showers tonight, lingering into our Wednesday. Then the sunshine will return starting on Thursday and will extend for the weekend and even the start of next week. Right now it is very chilly. Temperatures are about 20 to 25 degrees cooler than this time yesterday morning. So yes, yesterday was mild, but today you definitely need that jacket before you head out the door, especially as you get the kids ready for the bus stop. Temperatures in Western North Carolina in the 30s, 40s right now for the upstate, and it will be a little bit breezy at times this morning, but the winds will ease up later on in the day. Now temperatures are going to be climbing into the 50s region wide, holding on to mostly cloudy sky conditions. So for the upstate, 54 degrees for today, the winds will be out of the northeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour for the mountains. The winds will be out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour with a high temperature of 50 degrees. So our next disturbance is knocking on our doorstep. It's emerging out of the deep south. So once again, the southern tier of the country dealing with some of that wet weather and locally we have the clouds for today. The clouds are really not going to be fading away either. They're just going to be sticking around and then eventually those rain showers will arrive starting tonight. So here it is on future cast as we fast forward the clock and stop it here around lunchtime holding on to mostly cloudy skies. A few more peaks of sunshine will happen in the mountains for today since the system is starting to approach from the south. Now here's a look at 10 p.m. You can already see our western zones seeing some of this rain and that rain will spread across the region going through the morning commute tomorrow. So this is a look at 6 a.m. in 24 hours. It's going to be that widespread rain for the upstate a little bit more hit and miss across the mountains. Anywhere south of I-85 has the best chance of seeing all that wet weather. And across the highest peaks, above 3,500 feet, tonight into tomorrow morning, a brief wintry mix, not out of the question, but that system will slowly fade away as we head into the 4 or 5 o'clock time frame. So we'll end the day with some sunshine, and then we'll be looking at some beautiful conditions on the way starting on Thursday. But the rainfall totals anywhere from about a tenth of an inch across western North Carolina, south of I-85, we could be coming in around a half an inch there. So we'll really have to watch out for ponding in the upstate for tomorrow morning. But then after that, look at that beautiful weather trend. It is just going to be sunny, bright, and temperatures will be in the 50s and the 60s for the upstate. A little bit cooler for the mountains, holding on to the 50s. Time now for your weather camera sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. If you were planning on getting the bike out today, it's going to be chilly, so make sure to bundle up. This is a look at I-85. You can see that traffic is starting to pick up for this hour, and I'm sure as we start to approach the 7 o'clock hour, it's going to be even heavier in some locations. So let's go ahead and send it over to Chris with an update on the roads.